I mean, I look like a, I look like a bug that's gotten watered down. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Did you see that? <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's a nice one. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay, right there she is in the front of the canoe. We are back out here on the lake today to do some more bluegill fishing. Um, like in the last video, we're dealing with a little bit of rain. I don't know why it keeps raining, but it feels good. It's been kind of hot, but the rain feels pretty good, but hopefully we don't get caught up in a thunderstorm. Um, I think I located another bluegill bed. We're about to start fishing it. Um, but before I do, I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna be targeting these guys to make things a little bit different and a little bit more exciting. Look at this bad boy here, busting out my old trusty fly rod. Um, we only have one fly rod in the boat, we might swap and take turns with it. I think I'm gonna start tossing a little popping bug around. Jason to start off with a cricket. As you can see, as the rain's starting to come down, that popping bug might not be good with the rain coming down, I'd swap something else. But we're gonna try it out, try to catch some fish on the fly. And of course, we're gonna throw some in the bucket today so we can take them home and eat for a catch and cook later on. Um, hope you guys are excited to tune into this one. If you are, do me a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of these future brim fishing adventures. I gotta put the camera up because it is coming down now. Let's see what happens. What you think, Jay? Ah, it's raining. <laughs> it's raining. Dang it. It's raining hard. Okay, let's catch some fish. Which I'll point it up in the right direction here. I mean, I look like a, I look like a bug that's gotten watered down. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Did you see that? Looks like Shamu. How'd he miss it? Did that last fish jump all the way out of the water to eat that thing? That was nuts. Got him! Got him! Got him! Got him! Home the popping bug! <laughs> In the rain! It does work. That's a good one, too. That's my first bluegill. Oh, it's a big guy! It's a big guy. Come here, guy. I'm just gonna strip him in here. Put him in the boat, that thing's a slab. Look at how big that one is. Holy crap, I gotta clean y'all off here. Y'all are a little, a little damp. Oh shoot, that fish had no trouble getting that, bu that bug in his mouth. We have had three bites already so far and that thing is choked. That's the size we're looking for right there. That is awesome. Jay, you gotta get in there with the cricket. Jay was uh- I'm about to, I just wanted to watch you catch them. Jay was wanting to watch that madness unfold. I'm gonna throw that popping bug a little bit longer. Here we go, I'm putting him in the bucket. Hopefully it doesn't splash Jay too much. Oh, I missed. He hooked up. Hooked up. Jay's hooked up. Jay's hooked up. <laughs> Jay's hooked up. I missed the I missed the fish in the bucket. <laughs> that looks like a good one too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. In man. the rain, baby. That's a nice one. I guess we're gonna throw him in the bucket. Woo! Oh, he Wait. jumped out of the bucket. What the heck? Did mine jump out of the bucket? Or I, just, I think I just missed. Did you miss again? I think I missed that first time I threw him in. Here you go. Wait, pee in. Oh. oh, good job, Jay. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, oh my gosh, sent him. Oh, Jay's already got one too. Oh man, this bed is loaded. Come here, big guy. It's a little bit slow we're going with a fly rod and reel, but that's another nice one. Let's go, I'm gonna send him back. He's a little bit smaller than the first two. But there we go, popping bug in his face. Nothing crazy, like it's just a tried and true classic. If you love topwater fishing, I mean, this is it. This is it, bluegill are so, so vicious. It is coming down. How do you even see my bug? Whew. <laughs> oh, he saw it. He ate it too. There we go. Now I'm underestimating these fish. They will not cease to eat a little popping bug, even in the heavy rain. Jay's got another one. Oh my goodness. He's a little smaller guy too. Look at that. Nice one. Yeah, let's see how long it takes for this cricket to get demolished. Oh shoot, that's the money zone. One, two, oh, he's gone. Two seconds. Two seconds. Oh, that, that cricket is toast. Woo, baby. Nice. Pretty good one. Not a massive monster, but yeah. a pretty nice one. Probably not bucket worthy. Probably not, we'll probably send him back. Next year he'll be a lot bigger than that and be bucket worthy. Yeah. How do you feel about fishing in all this rain, Jay? Not too bad. I mean, I'm a little soggy, but it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, I think you're about to get demolished again. He might be a little bit to the right again. I'm not sure. It like oh, there he is. Yep, he's on it. He's on it. <laughs> you were just a little bit to the right. I had to pull it right into the zone. 
up in the boat, buddy. Yeah. Another little guy, though. I know. Are these fish just like mainly small? I mean, we caught some good ones at first. Yeah. Maybe the small ones are eating the cricket and the big ones are eating the fly. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he Sorry. gone. He gone. Sorry. It's all right. There he is. There he is. There he is. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. Come here, big guy. Another little guy. Let's send him back. How are we doing on the lens? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Is that a big one? Oh, not a bad one. Not a monster, but not a bad one. Most days we keep that one, but we're going to keep the bigger ones today. You know, at least it's not just like torrential downpour and monsooning, tropical depression, lightning, thunder, tornado in and out here, you know? We're not caught up in a water spout. We're just getting a little damp. We're becoming more like the fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That almost looks like a red ear. Or is it a hybrid? Is it? No, it's just a big bluegill. Here we go. Get in the boat, big daddy! Woo! Woo! There we go. That's another nice one. Popping bug in his face. Another good one for the bucket. I think it's our third keeper, maybe? Third or fourth? Woo! Yeah. Nice. Oh, <laughs> I was just about to say, I think they're off the popping bug, but he wasn't. He was all about it. Get up here. Another good Woo. one. Another good one on the fly. Awesome. That is so much fun. Oh, right there in front of me. Mm -hmm. Whoa. That's a donkey. Nice fish. Oh, that gosh. is a donkey. I guess that's like the zone. That's like the zone where I'm getting bit on the bug. And that's the zone where she's getting her cricket eight. Nice, nice. one. Instant. Instant. Woo. Instant. <laughs> the bluegill master. Woo. You can't stop her. You can't contain the slab queen. It's a little guy though. Unless if it's lightning, then oh. I'm out. Yeah, lightning, lightning and tornado, <laughs> she's out. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> and she usually likes it for me to be out too if it's lightning. Yeah. Sometimes we send it, but most of the time we come back inside. <laughs> Who wants to see a bobber go down in three, two, one, one and a half? Yeah, one and a half. One and a half. That's a that's a that's a he nice is one. Pulling. That's a donkey. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That Look is at what that we, guy. The rain is coming down fierce. That's all the of sudden. biggest of the day, I think. Oh my gosh, that thing is huge. That is a nice one. And as you guys can see, it is coming down. But we ain't leaving. We ain't leaving. We got too many of these guys to catch. Drop them down in there. Oh. Give me some. Oh. stopped the water is very still I just creep that bug along looks like a little spider I'm like right in the zone where they eat it <laughs> oh we go no no Dang it. no <laughs> my hooks bent that's why you're missing all those I fish know. I was like I gotta check this hook out okay I feel better about it now not guaranteeing one on this cast because I've been missing them. 
I feel pretty good about it now. Yes! Woo! Just had to fix the hook. <laughs> He's a little guy. Oh, get up here. Oh, he got some bright blue gills. He actually ain't that small, is he? He's actually a good one. <laughs> He's supposed to fight in that hard. Oh, yeah. Look at that. He's actually a really nice one. So I'm using a six weight fly rod, so it's a little bit more stout than I would like um, for fly fishing for bluegill, but I like to use it for everything. And that's a good one. In the bucket. Woo! I don't know if there's gonna be a fish right here or not. Oh, there he is. Nope. Oh, he's there. <laughs> I threw in a new spot. I was like, I don't know if there's gonna be a fish here. Oh, but there was a there was a big in there. That's a dandy. Woo! That's a really nice one. Holy smokes. That Super bright orange. yellow, orange belly. That's Gotta love it. Out. Yeah, the sun's coming out. It feels so good out here. Yeah, it's bright. It's about to be a rainbow out here or something. I'm not sure my hat around. It's so bright out here. Oh, Ooh. giant, 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 giant. Giant? Ooh. Whoa, that's a big one. That's a big one. He Whoa. jumped out of the water. Full shampoo mode. <gasps> ah! Is that a hybrid? It's a hybrid. Ooh. It's a hybrid. No fair. Yes. Or is it just a straight up red ear? I think it's just a straight up red ear. Yeah. You lucky dog. Well, it looks kind of like a hybrid. Looks kind of like a hybrid, but he's got a really red ear. That's a hybrid. Nice fish. Nice fish. Okay, I'm gonna throw back in that new spot. Where I caught that big one. Oh gosh! Oh, my. Instantly! That's a good Instantly one. hooked up with another big one. Woo! That that's, a, huge. that's a really good one. Oh my gosh. Woo! Wow. Look at that. That's so cool. Should I keep it or throw it back? He's big, isn't he? Yeah, he's big. That's a keeper. It's bucket worthy. Okay, here we go. Oh, That's already awesome. hooked up. Man, I have found a juicy spot. Woo! Yes. <laughs> Guys, this is so much fun. The only thing that would make this more fun, do you know, Cole, what that would be? Uh, if it was red ear. Okay, if it was red ear, but it would be more fun if, like, Cypress was out here with us. Oh, you're right. <laughs> we, oh, oh gosh, <laughs> he, like, almost slapped me in the face. We cannot wait until the day that Cypress can go fishing with us. It's going to be so much fun. Cannot wait to do this with him. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow, did you see that? Yeah. I mean, surely you did. He, it was an explosion. Come over. Hello. Hello. Oh, I'm hooked up. Doubles. Your fish is black. Wow. Woo. Nice. Look at that. We've caught so many doubles today. I know. We're gonna throw this one in the bucket. Let that one go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Slinging him. Wow. Wow. Did y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but that was intense. That was. I can't even keep up with him. He about to get stuck in the anchor. Woo. Look at that. That is a pretty one. The rain stopped again, and it's just like ideal popping bug conditions. We're just dealing with the rain whenever it comes, and then you know, taking advantage of these opportunities whenever the rain stops to really, really key in on these fish that eat the top water bait. Jay's got him. Jay's got him. <laughs> Coming in hot. How many have we caught? Uh, more than we could count. <laughs> We've caught a bunch of fish. Yep. So we're now ready to clean the fish. They've been sitting on ice for a while and you can tell that the sun is out and shining But there's some big storm clouds out that way. It's thundering a lot. So we got to make this quick So there's no quicker way to clean a fish than the way we're about to do it This is always requested whenever we're cleaning whenever we're cleaning any sort of pan fish Whether it be bluegill, red ear, crappie, and it's just the basic old-fashioned scaling method And it's one of our favorite ways to eat them. So what we have here is a couple of tools here We have our trusty spoon trusty knife and then of course here on the table. We've got our catch. We have one of our nice little bluegill right there. 
And what we're gonna do is we're gonna scale this fish from the tail towards the head. If none of y'all have done this before, it's super easy. And I uh, definitely recommend eating your fish this way. So let's scale them real quick. Super easy. The bigger the spoon, the better too also. Get all those scales off. Looks good. And then you just cut the head off. And what we like to do, we like to cut at an angle. So you cut right here from their butt up here towards around their head. And whenever you do that, you cut most of the guts out too. So we'll make our cut here. Angle it down towards the front of the head. Get as much meat as possible. Just like that. And then, of course, inside you're going to pull the guts out. There's not very many in there since we made that cut from the butt. And that's all there is to it. Super quick and easy. Uh, we'll rinse this guy off in the water hose, but we'll throw in the bucket for now. We're gonna clean through the rest of our catch and then we're gonna cook them up. Y'all hearing this, guys? It is really about to storm out here, maybe, so we gotta cook this quick. So we've got a few of our fish here in this bowl. There's a little sampler right there. I think that's five or six. Uh, whole cut and scaled bluegill. And what we're gonna do is something very similar to what we always do. We're gonna fry these bad boys up. It's like the best way to cook these guys. So we've got some uh, seasoned fish mix here. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put these guys into this bag. We got one, two fish, three fish, four fish, and five fish. So now we're gonna zip our bag up and shake them up. Now, we will take these guys, we're gonna lay them here on this lid here. Oh. All right, so we got that first coat of fish fry on these whole fish. Uh, if you're doing fillets, you can just throw them right into the deep fryer, but what we like to do is we like to double and dip these guys. So we got some tongs today. Grab this little fin here, and we're going to dunk them here in this milk. And then we're gonna throw them back here in the bag. So now, Whenever we get him all shook up again, he will have a very heavy, thick, layered coat of fish fry on there and make this fish extra crunchy and extra delicious. Let's pull him out and show you guys what we're talking about. Look at that. Woo. Much better. So when we throw him in here, it's not all gonna fall off and you're gonna have like exposed um, fish skin and fish meat everywhere. It's gonna be an even, nice, crunchy, whole fish. So I'm just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna put him in there. Dunk him. Ooh, there we go. I was a little worried that it wasn't gonna be hot enough, but it's hot enough for sure. All right, we're adding our last fish to the deep fryer. Those will cook about five, six, seven minutes. We'll just wait till they're floating, wait till they're crispy, and we'll pull them out, and it's gonna be a good time. What you think about that, Jay? Look pretty good. Oh my wow, gosh. Wow, that looks fantastic. That turned out perfect, and that's exactly why you wanna do two coats of your fish fry, if you're able to. It's just gonna make it that much better. Let's see if the other side got as good. We're gonna flip them. Yup. That turned out oh, great, yeah. but you know, there's one thing we're missing, Jay. What's that? Hush puppies. We need some hush puppies. <laughs> we need some hush puppies. You kind of look like a hush puppy. You look like a hush puppy. You look like a hush puppy. <laughs> Let's get some hush puppies. Just a few hush puppies, right? Yeah, just enough to keep us quiet. Okay, that'd be good. <laughs> keep us from calling each other names, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those would be great. Those would be done in like a minute and a half, mm -hmm. two minutes, and then we'll be ready to eat. All right, well, we had to bring this party indoors. It started thundering and lightning like crazy and it started to rain, so that's okay. We've got our tray here of our whole fish and our assorted little hush puppies right here. And uh, we're gonna give this a taste test and see how we did in cooking this fish today. It looks like we did pretty good, what do you think? Yes, it looks delicious. Let's just grab a piece of fish each. So how you do with these fish, we talked about it before, you just peel these fins off and you can munch on them too if you like to, just get that fish fry batter. Mm. Yummy. Yeah, it's really yummy. And it's very yummy. Sound very sounded very crunchy. I know it's not as crunchy as the tail though. <laughs> Here's the tail, Ray. Mm. Mm. Some say that eating the tail and the other fins is the best part of this whole process, but I think what Jay's doing is she's finding the, the best part of this. Mm. We love the meat. I need a little bit of cr crunch to it though. Mm -hmm. The okay. tail is fantastic though. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> How is that? That's so good. Really good? Mm-hmm. Now I will say that eating fish this way is a little, definitely a little more hands-on, but I kind of like to work for my food. <laughs> okay, that's so hot. Ah, 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 there it is. 
Mmm. Did you get the crunch? Yeah. Ready? I did. Mm. I did. They're so crunchy. That is so delicious. Dang. Oh. Yeah. And it's really hard to pick between like eating uh, bluegill just fillets or eating the whole fish. Mm -hmm. It's both so good. Like eating bluegill fillets is a little bit easier. And it's still really good. But this is just like just just like bursting with flavor. Mm hmm. It's so good. I mean, that's how that's how everything is when you leave the bone in. But wow. So, so great. And I guess that batter is just really good. I don't even remember what the batter that was. It was just something just random. It was really good. <laughs> something I haven't used in a while or ever. Well, it's good. Look at that. Do one more bite here. I've been eating this whole time. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is a really good quick and dirty meal. Mm -hmm. It's just so good. Like, we were just feeling you know, kind of hungry. Not really wanting like a full course dinner. It's like midday right now. I just want something to eat really quick. And this is so good. It's a good snack. Very good snack. It's going <laughs> to give us lots of energy to get some more tourists done throughout the rest yeah. of the day. But guys. I think this is where we're going to end today's episode. We just want to say thank you all so much for hanging out with us today out on the lake, doing a little bit of fly fishing, a little bit of cricket fishing, and uh, hanging <laughs> fishing out in the rain. Hanging out in the rain. Yeah, we caught some really nice fish. And of course, we made a really nice meal here. So, guys, we encourage you all to get out there on your local body of water, go find you some bluegill, some red ear, any sort of sunfish, really, and uh, catch and cook them up for yourself if you haven't been doing that a lot recently. It's just, it's worth it. It's so good. But if you all enjoyed this episode, do us a huge favor. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of these future wildly crazy fishing adventures. We're Colin Jay. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye, guys.